All right, that's enough playing around. Welcome back to another scooter video, guys. And today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys one of the most important tricks in scootering, and that is pumping. Before you even come to a skate park, there's a couple things that you gotta learn how to do on your scooter, and that is stay balanced. So at home, on your driveway, make sure you can just stand on your scooter. Now, another great thing to learn before actually attempting a, like to pump around a skate park and flow the bowls is to bunny hop. Because when you bunny hop, it's using the same motion that is pumping, and that is crouching, pushing up, and then actually lifting your scooter with your body. So that is the main step before you should even come to a skate park and learn how to pump. Now, lucky for you guys, I have a tutorial on my channel that talks about how to bunny hop. So you guys can click that video right in the description below. It's gonna be our first video right, right down there, so make sure to click that. And you know, give that video a thumbs up as well as this one. But now let's get into how to flow a bowl. So you guys might be wondering, why am I actually in the bowl first to start out? Well, let me tell you, you don't actually wanna start by dropping into the bowl. You're gonna get way too much speed. And even if you can drop in, it's always recommended that you feel the ramp out first before you actually approach like the big quarter pipes because it's a little intimidating when it comes to like dropping in from the big ramp and having to maintain that speed around the corners and stuff. So what I recommend first is getting inside the bowl. So don't start up there, start right down here on the base of the bowl. And what you wanna do is you wanna just get balance on your scooter. And once you're balanced on your scooter, like I said before, when you got that bunny hop down, now you wanna actually focus on just slowly riding around the bowl in circles. So you're gonna like find little ramps, make sure you're able to go in the bowl like this. Get comfortable pushing around in circles just like that. And eventually you'll build that like momentum up and you'll be able to use your legs to actually pump through the bowl. So that's step number two of actually approaching how to flow and how to pump through a bowl or any ramp for that matter. This all kind of ties in together with airs and bunny hops and everything, all of the above. This is really just a key fundamental trick that you guys need to learn. But let's move on to step number three. Right here, we're gonna focus on this lower half right now. And we're gonna look at the legs. So as we're about to approach a quarter pipe, we're gonna start to compress. Now when we're actually getting up to the quarter pipe, we're gonna extend almost as if we're jumping. Now when we go back down the quarter pipe, just like in our how to air video, we're gonna absorb that landing, push through, and like really ride it out. So when it comes to actually approaching the ball and you're inside the ball now, I would pick a pocket like this, or maybe even a half pipe, preferably a half pipe, you can go back and forth as many times as you want. But what I'd first start out working on is just getting enough speed to where you can turn inside the ball like this. So just like we were talking about, we're gonna be doing this and getting speed now. So now let's get a little bit higher. We're gonna start a little bit higher right here. Drop in. And now start to add a little hop to it. All right, so now as you guys can see, I'm using my legs to actually generate the speed. As I'm going down the ramp right here, I'm using all legs to push down. And then I get to the other side, I'm lifting up and then 180. And once I get there, I'm pushing back down and then using those legs to generate all the speed to carry on to the next ramp. And now that we've got the basics down of how to actually pump around in a bowl, now it's time to get speed. So in these next couple clips, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually pump through the bowl, take the corners, and it's gonna be more like a little voiceover for you guys. Now what you wanna do when you're actually approaching the bowl corner like this one right here, you wanna make sure to dip your shoulder and dig in. So you gotta keep your head going in the path that you're actually traveling. While you're doing this, you wanna make sure to maintain your speed. So you're gonna be using your legs the entire time to push in and out of the corner. So you're gonna first go into the corner, use those legs, push down, and then extend them out to absorb the corner, and then push back down to get out of the corner as fast as you can. Now that you've got the corner down, you gotta worry about not getting higher. The higher you go, the faster you can go. So now let's talk about how to actually go higher. So when you go higher, you can't stand straight up. If you stand straight up, you're gonna end up sliding down. Let me show you real quick. I'm leaning too far. Oh no, I'm sliding. You don't wanna do that. You gotta make sure that you actually lean into the quarter. Use that shoulder, dip it down in, and you'll be able to ride away much faster. It's kind of, think about gravity. If you're going at a wall like this, but you're standing at the wall like this, you're just gonna slide down. Whereas if you're going like this at it, and you're actually pushing into the wall, you're gonna stay. So it'd be more like this on a ramp though. You're going up on the quarter pipe. You can't stand like this. You're gonna to continue to slide down. You gotta actually go like this, dig into the corner and keep going like that. So it's gravity, it's gonna wear its work. Trust me, it's all about feeling it out. Once you get it, you'll understand it. And then you can use it on any quarter pipe or any ramp or any 
in your pocket like this. But let's move on to the next tip. When it comes to now airing a quarter pipe, so we're right down here. We're starting out at the bottom. Right here, we're gonna be compressing our knees. Now we're gonna be slowly extending it as it goes up. And as it goes up, we're now getting air, just like in my how to air tutorial. And when you come back down on that quarter pipe, you wanna catch as much transition as you can. So the higher up on that coping right there that you can catch, the better it's gonna be. You're gonna come back down smoother. And as you're coming down, you wanna make sure to use your legs and absorb the landing. All right, when you get to that curve right there, you're going to slowly start to push back against the ramp with your legs and you're gonna ride away onto the next quarter pipe with much more speed. Now we're gonna talk about one of the scariest parts of the pumping, and that is actually getting too high on the quarter pipe, catching that coping right there, and getting stuck and getting completely thrown over your scooter. Now to avoid this, you always wanna make sure you keep your eyes level with the coping. So if you're all the way right here, you gotta have your eyes looking right here to make sure you're not gonna go above that coping line. If you go above the coping line, prepare for it, stay loose, you gotta keep your body loose, so everything gotta be loose, and you gotta just toss your scooter to the side. Now, if you have too much speed, the best thing to do is actually roll forward and do like a little mini front flip to absorb the landing. You never wanna go with your hands straight out. You could break your wrist, so make sure you get a tuck and roll. But the most important thing is to avoid this in general is to keep your eye on the coping. Make sure you don't get too close. If you do get too close, you know, use that bail mechanism and get out of it just like you would any other trick. Okay. Yeah. That, was, that was so good. Just so you guys know. Great demonstration by AJ right here. Do not go too high. I want to add in a couple key points that I've gotten questions about. So for starting out, we're going to talk about getting speed. So I've had a lot of questions. Just how do you go so fast around a bowl? So really, this is just practice. So just like manuals or any trick, like bunny hops, anything. To get that extra, extra mile, you have to practice this over and over again. You're only going to be able to go as fast as your body is physically ready to go. You're not gonna be able to get that top speed unless your body is physically in the condition and like you got that muscle memory to actually pump through the bowl and you know how to do it. So for that question of getting speed through the bowl, it's really just getting it down, practicing as much as you can and using your legs. Now your leg strength is huge when it comes to pumping a bowl. So if you got leg presses going, you know, adds a couple pounds to those, get them a little more. This is basically a giant leg press when you pump through the bowl because you're really just using the same motion like that over and over again. So moving on to the next question I get asked a lot is what do you do when you land slightly flat? Because not always do you catch transition perfectly on the way down. Now this happens a lot and of course when you're flowing through the bowl the last thing you want to do is actually just you know pump. But if last resort you're like out of speed you can always push with that foot to get that speed back. But what I always recommend is regardless of where you land on the actual quarter pipe always absorb. Always absorb the landing like this and then whatever you absorb you push off as hard as you can to get that speed going again. So if you land, say this quarter pipe right here, I popped out on coping and I landed right here where these leaves are, I'm going to push down as hard as I can and then straight shoot up as fast as I can to get as much speed out of as little transition as I can. That's a huge tip to actually, especially like in your, when you're like a comp run or something, say you're pumping through the ramps and uh, you land slightly off, maybe you're not used to the park, it happens. So all you gotta do is just really really absorb and it really comes down to your legs. I can't stress this enough. Your legs are the key factor to pumping. If you can't get that motion of going up and down like this and actually pushing back off the ramp, pumping is going to be a little bit harder. So it's really just getting in tune with your legs and really going up the ramp and pushing back off. Now moving on to question number three I get asked a lot. We're going to talk about wheels. So I get asked this a lot. Does uh, the quality of your wheels really matter when it comes to like pumping through a pole? And it really does. So let me get it close to you guys. So right here, if you guys can tell, my wheels are still pretty curved. They're pretty fresh. They're looking nice. Nice Rapture wheels right here. These are actually my signature wheels. You can pick them up at rapturepro-scooters.com. Okay, that's the, that's the plug for the day. Now we're actually gonna get into the question. So when we're talking about actually pumping through a ramp, you wanna make sure your wheels are very fresh. So if you're like struggling to, you know, get around in the bowls, try changing out your wheels first. Make that the first thing you do after like actually getting comfortable in the bowls because once you put on a fresh pair of wheels you'll be able to pump through the corners and really get into the turns and when they're fresher and they got more of that roundness to them you'll be able to make those cuts in the bowl whereas if you had some flat wheels like some real gnarly flat wheels you wouldn't be able to make those cuts and you'll just kind of wash out so make sure you get some fresh wheels on right there but those right there are all the questions that i've had so far i hope you guys like this tutorial make sure to check out all my whole entire playlist
I have a giant playlist of how-to videos so you guys can learn how to scooter better. If you guys have any tricky tutorials that you guys want to learn how to do, make sure to drop them down in the comments. I love making these videos and I love seeing you guys progress. And maybe if you guys learn how to flow a little better, make sure to comment below and let me know. Or if you guys need any more tips, of course, I'm down there in the comments so you guys can ask me a little bit more about how to flow. But until the next video, I will see you guys later.